Hi everyone, welcome to story time with Miss Sarah. Let's get started with our hello. <gasps> Cat! Ah, Giles, I caught you. Say hi everybody. How are you doing? Isn't he so pretty? Okay, Giles, you can go now. <laughs> okay, all right, now we're gonna do our hello song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I hope you're fine today. <gasps> Clapping my hands, you do it too. Clapping my hands, you do it too. Clapping my hands, you do it too. Clap your hands with me. Yay! So today's book is Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns, a Muslim Book of Colors. And it was written by Hena Khan and illustrated by Maradak Amini. Hope I pronounced it right. Red is the rug dad kneels on to pray, facing toward Mecca five times a day. There she is with her daddy. Blue is the hijab mom likes to wear. It's a scarf she uses to cover her hair. And that is such a pretty shade of blue. Gold is the dome of the mosque, big and grand. Besides it, beside it, two to towering minarets stand. So that's these two towers. White is a khufu, round and flat. Grandpa wears this traditional hat. So there's the hat her grandpa wears. And then his friends are wearing the same one. Black is the ink I use to draw the Arabic letters that spell Allah. The little girl drawing. You can see a Close up, doesn't that look really nice? Brown is a date, plump and sweet. During Ramadan, it's my favorite treat. And Ramadan is a Muslim holiday, and it's actually going on right now, which is why I wanted to read this book. So there's the treat she likes. Orange is the color of my henna designs. They cover my hands in leafy vines. Ooh, so look at that. That looks really pretty. Purple is an Eid gift just for me. I open it up and love what I see. Oh, so it looks like she got a doll. And it's in my favorite color, purple. Yellow is the box we fill on Eid with gifts of zakat for those in need. It's always nice if you're able to, to help someone in need. Maybe you have some old toys that you don't play with that you can donate. Green is the Quran. I read with pride. Grandma explains the lessons inside. Oh, reading time with grandma. That's always fun. I remember my grandma reading to me. I think it was a babysitter club book. <laughs> Silver is a Thanos, a twinkling light, a shiny lantern that glows at night. So there she is with her lan lantern, looking outside. Helps keep things bright there, it's closer up of them.
All of the colorful things we've seen make up the world of my faith, my Dean. And so there she is with her whole family celebrating Ramadan. And I do apologize if I mispronounced any words. There was a glossary here that told you how to pronounce them. But sometimes I get a little nervous when I'm reading out loud. So sorry if I mispronounced anything. So since that book was about colors, I thought we could do some something on the flannel board with colors. So as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five balloons. Five balloons waiting for a child. This one goes to Johnny. Now there are four. One, two, three, four. Four balloons waiting for a child. This purple one goes to Michael. Now there are three. One, two, three. Three balloons waiting for a child. Sorry, my cat just ran up the stairs like a crazy kitty. Three balloons waiting for a child. This one goes to Coral. Now there's just two. One, two. Two balloons waiting for a child. This one goes to Elsie. See, now we just have one, the blue balloon. One balloon go, waiting for a child. <gasps> the last one goes to Sadie. Yay, all the balloons went home with the child. And so we're gonna sing a song about colors now. And I have my friend Bluey the whale. Hi, everybody. There. So we're gonna sing about colors and it's, if you're wearing, but even if you're not wearing the collar, you can still do the action. If you're wearing red, touch your head. If you're wearing red, touch your head. If you're wearing red, if you're wearing red, if you're wearing red, touch your head. If you're wearing blue, touch your, oh, you don't have shoes. Mm -mm. How about fin? If you're wearing blue, touch your fins. If you're wearing blue, if you're wearing blue, if you're wearing blue, touch those fins. If you're wearing black, touch your back. If you're wearing black, touch your back. If you're wearing black, if you're wearing black, if you're wearing black, touch your back. If you're wearing yellow, eat some jello. If you're wearing yellow, eat some jello. If you're wearing yellow, if you're wearing yellow, if you're wearing yellow, eat some jello. If you're wearing pink, stop and think. If you're wearing pink, stop and think. If you're wearing pink, if you're wearing pink, if you're wearing pink, stop and think. If you're wearing green, Shout hooray, hooray! If you're wearing green, shout hooray, hooray! If you're wearing green, if you're wearing green, if you're wearing green, shout <clears throat> hooray, hooray! If you're wearing white, fly a kite, oh, woo! If you're wearing white, fly a kite, wee! <coughs> Excuse me. If you're wearing white, if you're wearing white, if you're wearing white, fly a kite. We I love kite. Ooh. If you're wearing purple, shout I am. Look, I am. Wee. If you're wearing purple, shout I am. I am. Yay. If you're wearing purple, if you're wearing purple, if you're wearing purple, shout I am. I am. Yay, purple. Yay. So I hope you enjoyed this story time. You did it? Oh, no, you did. He was shaking his head the wrong way. So I hope you enjoyed this story time. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Wave bye-bye, Bluey.